Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I am so excited for what I have to share with you. What you're seeing here on your screen right now is the Once More With Love second anniversary box. I have not even opened it yet. It just arrived yesterday. This was totally not the video I was planning on uploading on Wednesday, but this arrived and I'm like, I want to do a, you know, quote, live unboxing with you guys, like actually unbox this on camera, but I couldn't wait any longer. I couldn't wait till the weekend. So I was like, okay, you know what? We're going to film it and get this up so you guys can see too. I did leave it in its box so I could actually show you the cute little label she included. Even this is adorable. I'm like, how can I should try to, oh, it is opening. Oh yay, I could save it. Look how cute, it's like foiled. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, I'm saving like every little bit. So in case you're unfamiliar, Once More With Love is obviously one of my favorite shops that does character stickers. She makes little munchkins and for her second anniversary, she did this super awesome box that like was super hard to get your hands on. I think she was only able to release 150, 200, I forget, but they sold out in like 30 seconds. I feel so lucky that I was able to get one. Um, she did release a lot of the items a la carte, but I personally decided to go for a box this time because a few of the most expensive items, which we'll, you'll see in here, I knew I wanted to buy a la carte. And since if I was gonna buy the expensive ones a la carte, then it kind of made sense. The, the cost of the box was a little bit more worth it. Like last year there was something in there, maybe a tote bag that I didn't really see myself using, but and that was kind of the expensive item that drove the cost of the box. So I didn't go for the box last year and I just got some a la carte items. But this year I was like, I wanna go for the full box and I can't believe I got one. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And as you can see, it is packaged so cutely. I'm actually probably gonna pause and take a, vi a, a, a picture of this because it is so cute. On the inside cover, there is a little um, note about everything that you receive, which we'll obviously go through. And then this packaging is just stunning. Marge did an amazing job, so nice. Okay, so I think the best way to do that is, is to take this whole little bundle out of the box and then I can kind of refer to this little note on the inside of the box in terms of what we are looking at. So obviously this little bundle is so sweet. Oh, she has like a little hand lettered card. Thank you for joining us to celebrate our second year anniversary. Your love, kindness, and support is never lost on me. With your encouragement, I am motivated to be better every day and to find ways to make a positive impact on other people's lives. Whether a small smile or a light chuckle, I hope this box brings some cheer to you and your planner. With love always, Marge. How sweet. These are so nice. It's on really nice paper too. I'm gonna save that forever because I just, yeah. And then look at this bow. I feel like I need to incorporate this bow even into my planner somehow. It says once more with love love on it. So cute. Same with the tissue paper. She got this all specially printed or she must have. How freaking cool. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to try and maybe work my way down on the list to make sure I get everything. So first off, I am so excited about this. You have your red munchkin bow clip and this can like go right in your hair. You can actually use it on your planner too, but I totally want to go to like a munchkin meetup or like a once more with love meetup or somewhere where Marge is going to be and wear my little munchkin bow. I think this would be so cute. It would just make me so happy. When I met Marge at the Scribble Prince Co party, she was wearing her bow and I was like, oh my God, she's like a real life munchkin and now I can be one too. So cute. And then actually, I don't know if any of these are in order. So I think I'm better just work my way down from the top to bottom. I think that makes the most sense. Okay. First up, we have this cute little envelope. I don't know what's going to be in here. I have so many, there's like 16 things on this list. Uh oh, I already ripped this buckets of fail here. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, cute, a little adorable little munchkin bookmark. Oh, this is really cute. Feels really sturdy. Who is this from? This is from, oh, it doesn't say. She must have made them herself. It says munchkin bookmark tab, but how freaking cute. You can just put it like that as a page marker on your um, planner. And I actually feel like this is really sturdy, like honestly sturdier than some bookmarks I've bought from individual, like shops that actually sell bookmarks. So that's really, really nice. So that's first up. And then we have this little package. Oh my God, it's all wrapped so cutely. She did such a nice job. These feel so special, like just really amazing. So let me try and get this. I don't know what's in here. Oh God, I'm ripping it. Oh, looks like it's, oops, I totally ripped that. Um, these are sticky notes. How cute. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. It has like a little bubble to write in. These are adorable. I'm gonna put like things off to the side, I think. 
Okay, and then next up we have one of the things I'm really excited about. This is a Happy Scrappy sticker album. I have never ordered from Happy Scrappy, um, but she is a shop that makes these like sticker albums for like, and she, uh, collabs with different shops. Like she's done um, once more with loved ones before. She has her own designs. Um, but they're these really nice sticker albums that you can store your sheets in. And I am totally going to move my munchkins over to this album because right now I have them in like one of those dinky albums from Michael's, but these are like really, really massive. So this comes with like Tons of sheet protectors, I whistled, sheet protectors. The munchkin um, sheets will fit perfectly in there and you get tons of ones. So I can probably fit, because the spine's so thick, I can probably fit my entire munchkin collection in there, which is awesome. And it says all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them, which I love. That seems to be kind of the theme of this box so far, the dream thing. So that is really cute. Then next up we have Once More With Love emoticon stamps. These are awesome. I'm not actually that into stamping, but if anything's going to get me into stamping, it is definitely munchkins. So these are really, really cute. Um, I will definitely hold on to them. If I don't actually end up using them in a couple months, I might pass these on to somebody that will use them more, but um, I want to try to use these because I think they're really cute and it's kind of like today I feel and you can like put in like you can make your own little munchkin on stamps to like track your emotions and then we have one of the things I was definitely the most excited for this is a pop socket and Marge had custom ones done pop sockets I actually have one on my phone so it is this little thing that I really like to use to be able to hold my phone on the Metro. If I have to stand, this allows me, I have tiny hands, so this allows me to better hold my hand, my phone with one hand. And then it also can like serve as, I'm not gonna be able to do it here, but it can like serve as a little kickstand to like watch things on your screen. It's really, really useful. And they're like, they're pretty affordable. The I know the custom ones are like more expensive. So that was like one of the expensive things that I was talking about that kind of drove up the cost of this box. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to wanted to have a munchkin pop socket the one thing is it's like can you guys you guys weigh in in the comments can I use should I use this at work so I often have in my in meetings like have my phone down like this and even this already attracts some questions from people they're like "Ooh, what's that what's that on your phone and I don't know if I feel like explaining to my coworkers what a munchkin is so but I think you can you can basically just take these little I could just leave this um what I'm trying to say is I could just leave this little like uh, what's the word? I could take this kind of cap off and just replace it with the munchkin one on weekends maybe and then just use this during the work week. I'm not sure. I really like the munchkin one though. It's so cute. It would make me so happy to have it. So maybe I just need to get used to using my phone like laying it down so people don't see the munchkin because munchkins are worth it. So that is that. Then next up, oh my goodness, we have the Simply Gilded collab washi. These are so cute. I'm actually not going to open them because there's really nowhere for me to lay them out right now. But we have this one's a snow globe and little munchkins as um, snowmen. So funny. And then this one has is pink with gingerbread munchkins and gingerbread houses. And they're both foiled and they are perfect. And I will definitely be using those a ton this winter. And then we have a little munchkin traveler's notebook charm. I think this one is... I thought this one was made by someone... No, I guess it, this one's not labeled. Oh, maybe it is. Hold on. It's on the back here. Yeah, this is Rhonda's planner, planner accessories. And this is so cute. It's like a little munchkin winking and holding a heart. I actually think that would be a really cute charm around Valentine's Day with the heart on it. I'll probably use it then. Um, but that is so, so cute to add to the front of your TN. And then we have like the big thing of sampler stickers. I will come back to that in a minute. I'm going to show you everything else in this kit. Um, we have here the engraved pen. Oh, wow. So I have one of these already, but this one's actually engraved with Once More With Love, which is very cool. Um, and these pens are so pretty. Honestly, I don't love to write with them because the weight is, of the crystal kind of like screws everything up, but they are really, really pretty. So love them for pictures. And now I have one that has Once More With Love on it. And then I'm actually going to move this tissue paper out of the way here. And then finally we have, I think, some vellum and some, uh, and the weekly kit that she included. Oh, and die cuts. Okay. 
this is an exciting little bundle here. Oh, and then we have a digital art here that we can download. Don't look, don't do that. I don't know why I just showed you the code. Um, first up, we have this gorgeous vellum. So, so pretty pink and, or not pink, purple and teal. I love those colors together. Totally gonna use that this springtime. And then you have these amazing die cuts. These are so cute. They kind of go once again along with the dream theme. These are really cute. And you have a little munchkin and a little castle. Really, really cute. And then you have the different like specific sheets that she made for this kit. So let me zoom you in, I think. So first up, this is her second anniversary favorites. I, um, her first anniversary favorites was like one of my favorite sheets because it had a bunch of her favorite stickers or her favorite munchkins from the first year of her shop. And this one includes all ones that came out in the second year of her shop. So some really cute ones on here. And I just love ones like these because they're like the perfect variety pack to like keep in your traveler's notebook or something, or if you're planning on the go, whatever, but they just have like a bunch of different ones there. So cute. And then she also did a collab with Wanton and a, is that Wanton and a Million? Wanton and a Million? You guys tell, want, want, you guys tell me. Um, it's that really cute, she has um, a shop that does her own character as well. <coughs> I'm sorry, but I'm totally blanking on the name, but it's like this little marshmallow dim sum type character. I think it's a dim sum little character thing. And um, they have collabed together on stuff before. And then this is her like collab dim sum sheet, which is really, really cute. And then you get the kit that Marge designed, which feels so special. It's actually on this gorgeous premium matte paper. Marge, where have you been hiding this? This is so nice, really like this paper. Um, and let me show you the kit. This was available in her shop as was the second anniversary sheet. And I think those were like unlimited stock. So they actually might still be there. Um, they, uh, Marge doesn't do a lot of weekly kits, so it feels like really special to get one from her. So the first sheet here is your date covers, which are so cute with the little crowns and your deco. And again, with the dreams come, tr come true fairy tale theme. And then here are the full boxes. These are just stunning. I love this, it has Marge's hand lettering in there. And I feel like these are very, like the florals and stuff are very once more with love aesthetic without being munchkins, which is really cool. And then you get your uh, flags along the side. And then here you have a bunch of headers, little things and glitter headers, very cute. Then you get this functional sheet that has your scalloped heart checklist, some long flags, cute weekend banner, some little munchkins, of course, um, and some little quarter boxes and icons. And then look at the little peeping munchkins. Those are so cute. And then finally, another functional sheet. You get eight half boxes, some a small selection of washi strips, some flags, weekly ombres, and a habit tracker for your sidebar. So really cute little kit. I think plenty if you are a white space planner like I am to do a full week's worth. And this is just stunning. Uh, and then the final thing in the kit was whew, this stack of 50 samplers. I am like debating whether I should even go through these all. I'm gonna like power through. I'm gonna try not to comment on everyone. I'm just gonna like show them all to you so you can see and maybe get some new ideas for shops. So we're gonna go super fast here. And anything that I don't use, I will pass on to either you guys or planner friends or whatever, but I just need to sort through them all first. So first up, okay, Peel and Heal Studio. I don't really know what this is. It seems like it has a discount code, but it, there's no stickers. So we've got that. Then we've got, Oh, I'm gonna try not to show you all the discount codes. If you see one, don't be a dick. Just like, you know, don't do it. Um, Meow, Caro, and Co. Cute, very little Sailor Moon-esque die cuts. Then we've got Beyond Paper Flowers. Cute little sampler. Okay, we're moving, we're moving. Here we go. Bubba Bear Studios. Oh, I've never ordered from her. She's cute. Um, she has her cute little hand-drawn ones. Planner Face, the cute... Um, designs that I've seen a lot of. A sticky paper. These look like cute little hand drawn doodles. Rose Rose Calligraphy. Ooh, these are cute. Let's open these. These are like little, not quite, what would you call this? Uh, looks like a little, like little place card. Yeah, like a little card you might use at like a place setting. It says, hello gorgeous. That could be cute in a traveler's notebook. Ras Barrel Designs, Ras Barrel Designs, 
Sacker Roar, cute hand drawn ones. Casa No, no. Paper Boysenberry Pie. I've never heard of some of these shops. They A lot of them seem to be like hand drawn type shops. This is very cool. Nana Sticky Stickers. Planner Shop Stickers. Key Town. I've heard of Key Town. My Little Blue Monkey. Fox and Cactus. Ooh, her paper is really nice. I still have an order from Fox and Cactus, but she does have gorgeous paper. I will say that. What do we... Oh, Hello Petite Paper. Hi, Vanessa. Very cute. I have a, that kit, so I should save that. <laughs> Whimsical Cat Studio. Some cute little character girls. Exo Mama Plans. I follow her on Instagram. Lizzie B Stickers. Oh, those are kind of cute little characters. Little bees. P, oh, Planner Monkey Co, little monkey characters. Olivia Nora. Mirror, mirror, no wait, hold on. So very busy. Well, this is a cute little, oh, cute. Okay, don't, don't look. Um, oh, wow, this is cute little, I will say the cute packaging gets my attention here. And she has like little cute fat cat sticker, character stickers, very cute. Oh, I recognize these. I follow this person on Instagram. Van Sticky, right? Is this Van Sticky? I think so. Yeah, Van Sticky. Oh, her stuff is cute. What does her paper feel like? Paper's pretty good. Uh, cute little die cut there. I've seen, the, I think Maria likes those. I've seen those on Instagram. And then we have Free Planner, Free Planner Bloop. I am like simply a mess. Okay. I artisans. So many sticker shops, guys. Dash of Sun Designs. Prickly pa Prickled Pear Studio. Cute. Uh, what is this? Addie Bell and Co. Scribble Prints. Hi, Andrea. Oh, that's really cute. With the this is like all like silver themed glitter. She did a nice size sampler. Cute dinos. Marion, oh, no, no, sorry. Sticker Olive, no, Sticker Oaky, sorry. S'more Crafter, oh, those marshmallows are really cute. What is this? Piggy Park Designs, cute little um, date strips. Amber Dean Designs. Stick with Chim, that's a funny little robot uh, die cut, very cute. Stationary by Mini, these are cute. M and M planner designs. Art is nice. Peel and heel. Oh, peel and heel studio. We had that at the top, didn't we? These are really cute. The um, these are kind of like. I guess the theme is until recovery sticks. So kind of part of it is about recovery and like therapy and taking care of yourself. And her paper is really nice. This is cute. Green Darner designs. Cute penguins. Sticker Monster Co. These remind me of like an actual comic. Not Doonesbury, but something like that. I can't place it. Uh, creativity and Ink Kit Sampler. Well, we have to open this up and see what we've got here. What do we have? Oh, cute. Cute little foldable for your TN or something. Okay, I'm not going to put that back in the bag because I'm feeling lazy. We have Otter Prince Co. Planner Frenzy. Rise and Plan. Oh, I got her in my SPC bag. She has nice paper. My uh, Once More With Love Fangirl Booklet. Cute. It's like a little printables or insert shop. And then she did like a little um, insert for it. Oh, CAD. I've never tried CAD. Oh, her paper's weird. Why does everybody love her paper? <laughs> this is different. Okay. But anyway, Chrissy Ann Designs CAD. I feel like she's a big deal. Joyful Planner. Very nice. Oh, her paper's nice. Cricut Paper Co. I like Cricut Paper Co. Very nice. Big sampler. Avalon and Ninth. Cute. Ooh, this is really cute. Shell Scribbles. Very cute little journaling card. 
and she has little characters it looks like too. Then I think the final one is Sticky Situations Co. And you get like a pretty big sampler, it looks like. Very, very cool. Thank you to all these shops that donated. It was super generous of all of them. Super awesome of Marge to coordinate with all these shops. Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine trying to get all these samplers in the mail and everything. But yeah, so let me show you all the stuff that was included in this box. So, so awesome. I am just like so honestly like I feel so lucky that I was able to get one and yeah I can't wait to use all of this stuff so freaking cute and yeah that is it for my little munchkin haul here congratulations to Marge for reaching two years she has an amazing shop that is such a big part of the planner community and I just love continuing to get more munchkins so hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did let me know down below if you were able to get a box or if you picked up any of the a la carte stuff. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got another haul coming later this week of, of several shops. So definitely stay tuned for that. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.